So now we're going to add a couple of details to this painting to make it look like there's something more to it than just the ridges of the trees and so on. So I'm going to take one of my shader brushes and I call it a shader brush. It's actually an angle brush. I'm going to take that and I'm going to use that to help me make the banana tree. You remember in the beginning we put in this banana tree right here. So now we're going to bring it back to life. First thing I'm going to do is to take a bit of purple and a little bit of blue and a tiny bit of yellow because those leaves that are at the back are going to appear to be more purpley blue because they're further from our eye. And I'm going to use plenty of water because I want that paint to sort of mix itself onto the canvas. So I'm going to do it with a, sort of a banana leaf shape. This brush is not quite wide enough for the size of this banana, but it's okay, I'm still going to use it. So there's the shape of the banana and it all comes down to one point there. And the leaves that are on the underside are sort of, um, you know, bluey, green, bluey, purple, and we don't see the entire leaf of all of them. We only see parts of the leaf. So those are the ones I'm going to put in first, just in general big shapes of the ones that are in the shadows. So that's the first layer. We don't really have to wait for this next layer to dry because um, the colors will mix in and they'll make it sort of pretty. So the next layers are going to be a deeper shade of green, more green with more blue in it. And so again, I've loaded up my brush. You see, I haven't mixed everything on the palette. I've just scooped up some yellow and scooped up some green and some blue. And I'm going to uh, put some banana leaves there now that look like they're closer to us. Maybe I'll just put a little white in that to be able to get the leaves to look like the sun is shining off of them. Did you see the strokes that I made there? I made just little short strokes that look like the banana has split, the leaf has split, and the wind is blowing through it, and we now can see um, more and more of it. So you notice that the strokes are going in the direction of the leaf. Many bananas have this rib at the back that you can see. Um, this one is going to be a little further behind, so it'll be sort of blue. Covers over. You notice that I didn't pay a lot of attention to trying to stay out of the space of the first ones that I put. I just sort of covered them over. Now, a banana stalk with some figs on it that are almost ready to harvest. So, again, taking my brush, bringing it down in, and one side is going to have more light than the other side obviously because that's where the sun is shining and in fact I would say these are probably some bananas that are well ready. And you notice I'm just taking the brush making little strokes to indicate I don't have to draw every banana the brush does that work for me and it also puts in the shade. Now at the base of the banana tree at the base of the stalk is always this part that's coming out and the flower is right on the bottom. So the flower sort of looks like a beautiful heart, I think. So I'm going to make it like this and like this and maybe a little bit has uh, flying up there and some have fallen off already and are laying on the ground and we have the promise of bananas. Now, this, the stalk of the banana here, I want to um, make it look like some of the leaves have already dried up. So I used a little bit of that yellow ochre again, a little bit of, um, of that red oxide, and just putting it down on the ground. So I have the banana tree with the banana flower sitting in front of the mountains and the beautiful sky, and I'm just going to add a couple more details to make it look lifelike and then that will be it for this painting.